This is Savannah Nevue here with Iron Man Magazine interviewing Monica Brandt. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Savannah. Good, Hi. thanks. <laughs> so you had a long history with Iron Man. You want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, I started working with Iron Man back in the um, probably the first or second year that I moved to California from Texas. I moved here in 1995, and I think my first photo shoot was in 1996 with Iron Man. So with Mike, um, mm -hmm. had some really cool stuff outside and. Um, I just remember some of the, my favorite shots and then so I've been able to shoot a little bit over the year and I haven't shot with, with you guys for a while so I'm glad to be back. Oh well we're glad to have you. Thank you. We actually dug up some old covers and <laughs> thought we'd <laughs> show them off. I look at May 1996 <laughs> with Lee Apperson. Mm -hmm. yeah. 97 with Frank Seppi. Loved that one. Mm -hmm. And 2003. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fun. Fun, fun. So what Good was your stuff. shoot like today? It's been a blast. I was really excited to come back and get to shoot with you guys. I think the last time we shot was in 2004. It was after the uh, Figure Olympia that year. And um, I know I had some of my favorite shots were from that particular photo shoot. And I still have fans that buy those shoots, those eight by tens if I take them to you know, the Arnold or something for sale. And so it's been great to be back and um, looking forward to seeing everything come out. I started uh, fitness competitions in 1991 and I went through to 1999. I uh, won the Fitness Olympia in 1998, uh, IFBB Fitness Olympia. That was pretty pretty amazing to win that. It was in uh, France. It was the only time that they had the Fitness uh, Olympia in another country. So it was really pretty cool to be over there and, and, and win over there and have that opportunity to shoot, do photos and stuff. Um, and then I quit competing for about three and a half years, just needed a little break from all of that. So I competed in the first figure international, IFBB, and I competed with the IFBB up, up to 2010. And in 2010, decided to make a move from myself over to the WBFF, a uh, new organization, and won the uh, world's figure pro for that organization in 2010. It was an amazing opportunity to just have a a new network of people. It's a really young, fresh um, organization, and they've done a really nice job with all of the um, the shows. They put on classy, high-profile shows, and just you feel like a superstar when you're on their stages. So it was um, it was a good move for me. But um, I am actually now competing in track. Really, so nothing subjective about track. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, this year, I decided to get back into some competitive track. I'm running uh, 100, 200, and 400 meter runs. I'm uh, signed up with the Masters United States Track and Field um, Division. Masters start at 30, so <laughs> kind of cool. And then it's increments of five years, or it's actually four years. Um, so you compete with the people your age. And I've got some, uh, some big meets coming up and doing really well. My times are coming down, and it's been a blast. I've really enjoyed it. still hosting my fitness camps, the FEM camps. They stand for fun, educational, motivational. So uh, femcamp.net if anyone's interested in checking them out. But they're three-day ladies fitness camps and I have them here in California and in Florida and Texas and kind of cruise around different states and I'm up in Canada as well. Um, um, if you come to one of my FEM camps, I have a photographer that shoots each camp. So I have you know, top photographers shooting each camp. So um, Robert Reef, Paul Bissetta, David Ford, um, and each of them, each of my camps, they get a full photo shoot with this photographer for the price of the camp. So, um, and I'm helping them pose and they get their hair and makeup done and their training and nutrition, all the other stuff and poison presentation. I teach them how to walk in heels and all of that. So come to my camps and you end up um, having opportunities there in front of photographers that are actually still shooting um, for the industry and for other things. So they, they might end up with a opportunity that they wouldn't have otherwise. And other than that, I work with a supplement company. I'm sponsored by BNRG and make Protoway and uh, Power Crunch Bars. And that's been a really great opportunity for me to have um, and to be able to endorse and um, work with a company that I 100% approve of, um, feel good about, I use daily, um, I crave them, like, <laughs> you know, be able to put all my clients on them. And so it's a great to be able to work with a company that I really believe in. 
Well, in the past, my training was just, um, I, I did more high reps and just um, low weight because I wasn't thinking about yeah. wanting to put on more muscle on my legs. I just always wanted them to be conditioned. And I did a lot of sprinting, but I wasn't doing competitive sprinting. So there's a real big difference when you get out there and you have to run all out and especially all the way around once it's just 400, right? So if you have to be able to go all the way around the track at full speed, you need to have the strength to do it and the conditioning to do it. So I just didn't, you know, it wasn't something that my training called for in the past. And now for track, what I want to do, it calls for it. And even in the blocks, when you're getting into the blocks and having to take off and start, you know, the start is a very, the very first part of the race on the 100 meter dash is extremely important that you're extremely strong to be able to push with the, as much force as you need to push and that comes from the glutes and hamstrings you know, driving yourself forward. So that is such a short race, you have to be so strong in the beginning of that race. That race is one in the beginning of it. So you need to, so a, a squat is actually the, um, the most, um, the exercise that duplicates running the most as far as a exercise that can build up the muscle enough. And then the deadlifts are obviously so strong, um, helps build up the hip flexor and the glutes. So, and um, you've got to have strong hip flexors to bring the heavy, I mean, think how heavy these legs are. And this little bitty area here, Yana has to lift and be conditioned to go all the way around or whatever you need. So, um, it's been an eye opener for me and it's been really fun to actually train that way a little bit different. I just, you know, needed the green light to try it out and, and not worry about figure any, you know, for now. But I really think that this type of training would actually still suit me for figure if I decide to compete in figure again. You know, a lot of women want to get in the magazines, but they don't want to compete. You know, they want to be able to be seen, but they don't necessarily, and I get that a lot, like how, how can I get in the magazines without competing? And it, it used to be the industry wasn't so big, there was not as many women, so you had a little bit better chance if you didn't compete, you still, but nowadays, it's, I mean, these shows are just flooded, you know, there's so many organizations, there's so many competitors, and you've got bikini, and you've got the figure, and physique now, and then, fit model in the WBFF and it's like there is so much there's so many avenues that women can take so I just tell people like look you have to remember how many pictures and resumes and stuff that these magazines online or um, hard copy they must get a you know every day flooded with you know hey will you shoot me can I shoot for the magazine you know like people want begging to be in the magazine so I always tell women, like, you gotta put your best things out there. Don't send anything that doesn't look 100% perfect. You know, really, because, you know, when somebody sees a bad image and then that's what's stuck in their head, you know? You get um, one chance. Yeah, so, and then the other thing is coming to the big shows and, and showing your face, and again, looking presentable, having your hair and makeup, your face, your skin, take care of your skin. It's so important. You know, at, at 41 and a half, I started a skin routine. Um, my mom taught me how to take care of my skin. Probably, it could have been younger, but I remember like 12 and 13, washing my face and using good products on my skin. And you know, I tanned my face, but at 30, I'm like, no more tanning on my face. So, you know, makeup does, does a fine job for me now. But um, just taking care of yourself, you know, and consistently all the time. You show up to a show, look the part. You don't have to look like a fitness chick. You can be dressed nicely, you can have your hair and makeup done nicely, and you can have um, some kind of picture or um, like a like business card or something that you can hand to a company and say, this is who I am, and if you ever need me, you know, or, you know. And that's really how I got started in my, um, back in 1995. Um, I had some pictures done, and I had a cover of Muscle Fitness, and I had a, what they call a composite card. Mm -hmm. I, it was, a, you know, four little pictures, and. I was at a big competition in 1995, and I was backstage getting ready to compete. And Jantana, you know, Jantana does the skin. Right. Um, she was backstage sponsoring one of the girls, and I went up to her at a time she wasn't busy, and I handed her my card, and I said, "I know you don't know me. I'm my name's Monica Brandt. I'm a competitor, and um, here's my card. If you ever need a model." So sure enough, uh, probably about three or four months went by. I moved to LA, and the same week I moved to LA, Jan called me and asked me to come and model in uh, Jamaica. Wow. So she flew me to Jamaica the same week I moved out here. I wasn't even here for a week, and that was my first big opportunity. And then she had some ads done with my picture, and I was all of a sudden the suntan lotion girl, you know, Jan Tana girl. That was in 1995. So 
you know, it just happened because I handed her my card and said, I am who I am and here I am and I'd love to work for you if you ever have opportunities. So, you know, those kind of things do happen, but again, presentable, fit, clean, you know, classy and, and smart. You have to have all those things. Um, you know, comp competing makes a, a good impact, especially if you do well and you have a good look. You know, photographers end up seeing your, you as a competitor because all the photographers are shooting, you know, and, and so maybe they see you on stage and come up later and say, hey, I'd like to shoot you. And there are a lot of opportunities like that as well. Marla Duncan. Do you know the name? I actually don't. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> she would still be amazing on stage at this point. Like if you put her back on stage right now and from her physique from then, and now, like she would still blow people away. She was, uh, is a beautiful woman. She's uh, a little older than I am. I think maybe one or two years. Um, mom and wife, and you know she's loving her lifestyle now. But when I started um, looking into this, she had just won a big competition, the Fitness USA Nationals, and there were three rounds: so a physique round, um, a routine round, and um, a speaking round. So you had to say your philosophy of fitness. And you had 45 seconds to say this round. And they cut the mic off if you went over it. So you had to have it, and you had to sound good without sounding like a speech that you memorized. Anyway, she, um, she won that big show, and I remember seeing her picture and thought, this looks like fun. So I ordered a VHS tape. It was a VHS back then, and I um, had my family come over to my apartment, and we all sat and watched the video, and I was sharing with them that this is something I wanted to do. And they were like, oh, all right, you know, why not? <laughs> Try it out, yeah. So that was the a first um, person that I guess I was inspired by. And um, in 1995, like, I started in 91, so 95 was my first year really to do a whole lot in the industry. And I started getting to know uh, Robert Kennedy with uh, Muscle Mag magazine. And um, he had me do a photo shoot with Marla and another bodybuilder, Frank Seppi, who actually I had a cover with you guys in Iron Man. So it was like me and Marla and Frank. So I actually got to shoot with my inspiration, like my role model. Aww. It was really cool. We actually had two covers that came out on Muscle Mag like that. And then she hired me to shoot. She had a clothing line for a little while. Um, so she hired me to shoot her clothing line catalog. And we've always kept in touch since then, you know. And, um, it's great. It was a. It was just a fun, back then I remember having so much fun meeting her and shooting with her and it was really cool. Well, it's been a long day of shooting. Thank you so much for coming and interviewing with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was really great to be back here again. I love being in the studio and getting to shoot with Mike again, so thank you. And we're glad to have you. You did a fantastic job today. Watch for Monica Brandt's future hard body feature and cover with Clark Bartram. You've been watching IronManMagazine.com.